In this video, I'm going to show you how to write the words, also known as copy, for your homepage of your Squarespace website to keep people on your website and to give them a simple and clear way to work with you. Here are the six essential sections of a landing page or a homepage of a website. Number one, your one-liner and hero section. Number two, your problem section. Number three, a steps or solution section. Number four, an expert and empathy section. Number five, a call to action section. And number six, an imagination section. Let's break each of these down so that you can create them for your website. By the way, I have a free fillable guide that you can download in the description box to keep everything super clear and organized. Studies show that when someone lands on your website, you have about six seconds to help them know exactly what you do. And for that, you need a one-liner. This is a clear way to say what you do or the problem that you solve right away. If people are not sure that you can help them, they will leave. You see, tons of websites say things like great people doing great work or helping you solve your complex problems or it's time to begin to change your life. Here's the rule. If your one-liner can be applied to a different industry, then it is too vague and it needs to be more specific. Can your one-liner also be applied to a church, a restaurant, or a gym? If so, then you need to narrow it down. Here is a simple equation. Who you help plus where you help them plus how you help them plus the benefit you bring. For example, helping dads in the Atlanta area lose weight to feel like themselves again. Or how about this? Coaching business owners on the West Coast to grow their company without burning out. Now, obviously, if you're not geographically bound, then you can leave out the location. Here's an example of my one-liner. Helping everyday people grow their business and tell their story with an awesome Squarespace website. It cannot be overstated how much you really need to nail this. This is your elevator pitch, the thing you put on your email signature. It's everything. Calm down, calm down. Next is the problem section. The problem section of your website is so important because it makes what you do valuable and interesting. The best stories have a problem. The best websites also state the customer's problem. This is also super helpful because it makes your customer feel understood. There are three types of problems that you should describe the physical, emotional, and philosophical problems. The physical problem usually comes down to things like time, money, or energy. For example, you don't have the time to take your clothes to the dry cleaner every day, and traditional dry cleaning is expensive. It's also exhausting to steam and iron your clothes when you just want to hang out with your family. Next, let's go over the emotional problem. This is how the physical problems make your customer feel. For example, you feel frustrated paying so much money. You feel tired from your long day at work, or you feel anxious like you're not giving your family the time and attention that they deserve. Last is the philosophical problem. Here you state your beliefs. You state if you believe things should or should not be a certain way. For example, you believe that it shouldn't be so hard to have wrinkle-free clean clothes for work every day, or you believe that you should feel confident and clean at the start of each work week. When people feel that you truly understand their problem, then they're more likely to trust you for a solution. Next is the steps section. Here, you want to show how you will help your customer solve their problem. It's okay if these steps are simplified. They need to be. It should seem super easy to do business with you. Even the most simple products have steps. If you look at a microwave popcorn package, it says something like, step one, remove from package. Step two, cook in the microwave for two minutes. And step three, wait for it to cool and enjoy. 
I know what you're thinking. That's fine for popcorn, but my business? It's way more complicated than that. And to you, my friend, I say exactly. If a simple product has steps, then your complicated product or service definitely needs steps. Having steps, no more than three, makes doing business seem much more simple. It allows people to visualize the process it will take to do business with you. The more simple you can make your steps, the easier it will seem for your customer. Here are the steps that I used for my website. Step number one, use our free guide to organize your website plan to ensure that you have all the essentials. No admission cost, no secret fees. Step number two, learn the fundamentals of Squarespace web design through fun videos and checklists. No code is needed, no boring content. Step number three is to put your new skills to work by designing a one-of-a-kind website for your business or for clients. No grades, no tests. Most businesses struggle to make their steps simple enough. Remember that people do not go to landing pages to read. They skim. It needs to be very easy for the reader to understand the sequence of buying your product or service. Next is the expert and empathy section. This section has two goals. Show people you know what you are talking about and show them that you understand their struggle. You can do this in a few different ways. To show authority, you can display logos of brands that you've worked with, mention where your product or service has been featured, or show testimonials or briefly explain your credentials. To build empathy, revisit the struggle your customer has experienced or any of the problems from the previous section in different wording. For my website, I said, I was a teacher and wanted to create a website. This shows that I have experienced teaching which equals authority. Actually, I have a master's in teaching, but you know, I'm not here to brag. Next, I said, I tried everything, WordPress, Wix, even a Google website. And yes, there are Google websites, and mine was embarrassing. This revisits the struggle. I discovered Squarespace and became obsessed. I spent a ton of time and money taking courses. Again, showing authority and empathy. Back to the example, I said, I learned so much, but I knew that there could be a more simple way in a way that was way more fun. So I created a free way to help people build amazing one-of-a-kind Squarespace websites. It's my way of doing a little good in the world. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Next is the call to action section. What do you want your visitor to do? Do you want them to schedule a call, to fill out a form, opt in for a free fillable guide or a lead magnet, start a free course or live chat with you? Whatever you want them to do, you have to tell them in no more than two steps. People will do what you tell them, but you have to explicitly tell them right up front. Last is the imagine section. Here you want your customer to be able to visualize how they will feel after doing business with you. Here's an example that I did for a dry cleaner client. Imagine having all your clothes for the week, crisp and smelling fresh before you go to bed on Sunday. You'll be able to sleep in a little bit longer and take a few more bites of your breakfast because it will take less time to get ready. Here's to slower mornings and longer weekends. Chills, right? Or is it just me? Notice I use words like crisp and fresh and things that we can relate to like sleeping in and chewing our breakfast. These help the reader imagine that they are in that moment. They can see it. Remember that this is just the fourth part of course number one on building a Squarespace website. You can check out the full list of courses linked up in the description box below. Also, if you have any questions about the copy for your main pages or your homepage, then just let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. Let's put the art back into content marketing. I'll see you on the next video.